and it breaks my heart very, 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 very bad when teenagers or anybody in general, but it's mostly teenagers, make bad decisions or, you know what you do, like, I was a teenager a long time ago, but it's makes my heart and especially pastors or anything like that is like she teenager sleep with other people or or their boyfriends or anything like that all i have to say is just i have to pray for you i like wish you the best but i like it's your choice i I won't give up on you. God will not give up on you. But we're people. We're not perfect. One thing my new pastor said is you probably can fool your parents or anything like that, but you can't fool God. God knows everything. He knows your heart. He knows your secrets. He knows everything. Um, this is a hard thing to talk about. Um, it's just, it was on my heart and this is what God wants me to talk talk to you guys about. Um, I tried very, very, very long years to do what you guys did when you, when I was a teenager. You can keep trying to do it, but one of these days you're probably gonna be tired of doing the same thing, and and you had to probably say I want to try something else and probably do what I do and be like a Christian. And I know when you're a Christian, it's not easy, but also you still have bad days and you still when you're a christian you your past your past is still there no i mean your past is not there but you used to have like issues and stuff when you're a christian but you have more a sport and you find other people to support you and the brothers and sisters and for me I it's okay to go to church and church. That means I go to a youth group, a different church and then I go to my own church. I'm gonna pray for you. I don't want to pray for any teenager or anybody like that. It's just giving strength, giving version to do what you want them to do. I want to pray for anybody who's serving with person or with sales time or or did it to stuff or you know what their heart is. I want to pray to make it right with you and um you love them so much. And all his name is Amen. About this, when I pray you guys, it's not me. It's the Holy Spirit inside me. Made me find, um, give me some words to say to you guys. Yeah, I'm getting my hair cut to him in highlights. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, it's on my heart. Um, like I said before, I'm not you. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know if you went to divorce. I don't know if you struggle with relationships, stuff like that. I'm not going to get into it. I I know I have a lot of questions because I'm a used to be a youth pastor and a pastor daughter, but 
but I don't know if it is. I see you have to look in the Bible and stuff and ask questions. So yeah, I've been thinking about you guys and hope you won't make make better decisions. Don't be stupid. Don't grade anything. If you, if you do, God will forgive you if you just ask him and he loves you so much. And I know with a guy, they love you, but they break your heart all the time. I try it for a lot of guys and it didn't work. But she was a non Christian. It's hard. And say, Peter, don't have anything before, don't have marriage or anything before, before you're married. It's hard because when your your pastor says that you, he sees teenagers when they ask their friend, when their parents not there.